In this presentation, I'd like to focus on introductions and work a little bit on unnecessary details, repetition, and listing. Here's a passage from a student who turned in an introduction and wanted me to give her some feedback. It's a good paragraph, and I like the passion behind the paragraph, the fact that this is a real experience, and um, there's, there's good spirit behind it. It's about God, in a way. So I'll read it to you. The fact that I play the piano is an interesting experience in which even I'm still surprised about. In my early teenage years, I began singing for Open Bible Church of West Miami, and both my mother and brother play the piano. But I never really expected to learn how to play any instrument. First of all, I have considered that it was God who gave me that talent because it was at a time where my church, Open Bible Kendall, didn't even have a piano player. Furthermore, I believe that it was God who gave me the talent because I've always had that desire to serve Him, and God uses those who are willing to dedicate their lives to Him. It has been a passionate experience that I've had in my youth. I wonder what would have become of me had I not gained that talent. And so one thing that I want to remind you of that you want to do with your papers when you write is that you always want to take time to read it out loud and preferably have somebody else read it to you so that you could hear yourself back and if not, record it. And that's always a good revision technique. Let's look at some of the suggestions that um, I will be providing. All right. Notice the items in green, right? So Open Bible Church of West Miami and the Church of and the Church Open Bible Kendall. That's a little bit confusing, and that's probably something that could be left off for the pair for the um, for the essay itself in terms of working things out. Both my mother and brother play the piano, and I wonder what would have become of me had I not gained that talent seem like to be details, again, that are not relevant to the introduction itself. And then finally, the, a couple of things that I want you to look at are the lists in this paragraph. And notice the transitional words that are being used. First of all, furthermore, um, those are words that work um, well. I mean, they're not bad words, but it sets up the introduction as some kind of lists. And one thing that you want to know or that you want to do with your writing is that you want to try to uh, get as close as you can to how people actually sound. And so listing things is not one way to do that. So work on those transitions. All right, so here's a possible revision for the same paragraph. And uh, this is how it reads. A couple of years ago, I started singing for Open Bible Church of West Miami. Little did I know what God had in store for me as I opened my heart and talent to Him. Sometime after I started singing, my church needed a piano player. I was interested but thought that it would be impossible for me to fill this gap since I did not know how to play. No one stepped up and I kept feeling the tug to give it a try. Weeks after the call went out for the piano player, I found myself learning songs and playing for the congregation. I learned more than piano notes and music from the experience. So if you see this revision, it takes pretty much the same idea from the previous paragraph. It removes uh, any instances where you have details that, um, that don't seem to be long. And it also gets rid of um, the list and uh, the little bit of repetition that was um, in the previous paragraph or the previous version. Same idea, uh, different introduction with a little bit more flow. And then notice that the last sentence of this introduction, I learned more than piano notes and music from the experience. This is sort of like the thesis for the intro in that it gives the reader a sense that this is not just about piano playing, um, that, that this writer is going to explore. This is more about life and uh, how life itself works out, which is a lot more interesting than just piano playing. All right, I hope this is helpful, and we will talk about this in class, I hope, uh, this coming week. And if you have any questions, jot them down in your writer's notebook and keep practicing your introductions and your paragraphs and see what happens and share them with each other and, and obviously share them with me as I, as I think about these and see how I could help you the, uh, in the best way possible.